But I know more importantly to you than, than you know, Channel 3000's experience or Anderson Shapiro or, or McFarland State Bank, it's your business is the ones you really care about. And I also know that you've sort of been drinking from a fire hose for the last you know, 40 minutes. It's a tremendous amount of information, and it probably still feels pretty overwhelming. And I guess the, the last point I would seek to make is that it doesn't have to be that overwhelming. Uh, we have tools that we can use that can allow us to put your business's name into an application and show you in very, very simple, easy to follow language how you're doing. Does your business show up on Google? Are you on the various business directories that you're supposed to be on? Have you claimed them? Explain to you what that means. Uh, traditional SEO stuff, does your website work in such a way that Google understands it and can properly index it and try to put it on the first page of Google? Does your social media following have any users? Are people interested in it? Are you using Google AdWords? And interestingly, if, whether you are or not, what the available impressions are for you and what you could expect to achieve using AdWords at certain spend levels. And maybe the holy grail um, for a lot of businesses is a competitive analysis that can boil all this down to a simple score. Royal Donuts was not Troy's Donut Shop, I promise. Uh, Royal Donuts can very clearly see here they have a problem. Right? They have an overall score based on all of these areas of 25, while their two identified primary competitors are doing twice as well. And in going through this application, we can see very clearly why that is and have a focused conversation about what might it take to change those things such that your score is equal to or better than your competitor scores. I know it still sounds very, very daunting and very, very challenging, but when you walk through it like this, it's actually not that hard to come out the other side and say, okay, here are the two or three or four things that I really need to do. Now, uh, we asked you not to bring your checkbooks today, and I hope none of you did. I promise you, there's no one standing outside who's going to twist your arm and try to sell you something. That said, um, we love the idea that at least a few of you might have found this interesting enough that you might want to talk to us later uh, about walking through that buzzboard, getting your score, understanding how you're doing relative to your competition and how we might be able to help you. And if any of you are interested in that, we wanted to make sure you know how to do it. So Mike and Steve are going to take it over from here and explain how you might go ahead and do that if any of you wanted to.